Have you been trying to open the Aerodactyl from Lost Origin? Or maybe the Machamp from Astro Radiance? I know. I know you've been chasing that Umbreon alt art from Evolving Skies, but we're not getting them. We're opening tons of packs, and where are they all? Well, in this video, we'll be going through exactly why are we opening up all these packs and these cards aren't turning up. Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Pull rates. Are they ruining Pokemon sets? Are they ruining the fun of trying to open the cards that you want to open, that I want to open and see? In all honesty, the answer is yes. We have seen the most recent Pokemon sets. The pull rates are so tough from these most recent Pokemon sets that they really have been making single card prices reach crazy, crazy heights and things aren't really changing we first started seeing these in the sword and shield era and i mean don't get me wrong sun and moon has it as well it's kind of like modern pokemon as a whole but in most recent sets we have seen some cards and some sets be really hard to get those big hitters now i've already done a video recently where i covered lost origin and the lost origin pull rates are pretty tough as you can see guys lost origin pull rates like i say we did a video on this recently if you haven't seen it make sure to go and check that out we could do a deeper closer dive take a look at other things as well and other sets but this is the example of the pull rates from lost origin as you can see on the screen now guys it is crazy and what i say is it ruining pokemon it's making it less exciting and it also decides on whether or not the set's good or not but like i said lost origin is the most recent set and we've seen like cars like the aerodactyl reach crazy heights because people are not really pulling it and it's getting really tough the hit rate which is basically cards where i would say are better than a hollow like v's trainer galleries things like that are actually pretty good the trainer gallery really does help you get on average around 15 hits per box which is very very strong in previous sets that didn't have trainer gallery we were seeing cards not really being pulled that often maybe seven or eight hits per box so it's definitely improving but it's not good enough we take a look at astral radiance okay now astral radiance is a set where pull rates run rampant in this set we've opened up a fair amount on this channel of astral radiance in the streams we've opened up a ton and some of the cards on this list we have actually pulled we've pulled the dialga or art we've pulled the star me and that's basically it we haven't pulled any others and we've probably opened somewhere in the region i would say of around four to five hundred booster packs of astral radiance and yeah we've only seen the star me and the art dialga we haven't seen any of the others and that's quite crazy the hit rate is 32 percent again that's because of the trainer gallery that makes it you know like i say good hit ratio in my opinion but to get some of these top end cards is crazy i mean the one that jumps out at me is this hisuian sneezler at over 2000 we've seen it with the lost origin one with the uh giratina over 2000 you know we have here any card trainer gallery vv max or trainer one in 24 not vv max or trainer one in 12 and then a full art trainer is one in 93 packs we're looking at three booster boxes worth rainbow rare one in 78 that's slightly more than two booster boxes and a gold card one in 100 30 packs we're looking at basically four booster boxes that is insane this is a tough set to get those big heavy hitters the machamp is the real winner here with that card reaching crazy heights at over hundred dollars but what i said in the lost origin video is this does make some of the cards extremely desirable and it makes the set hold somewhat of a value if people want to get the chase cards for their collection however it does make the cards really expensive it makes the single card market price value very high for these sets especially for the big heavy hitting cards when these pull rates are that bad. Next, we have the pull rates for Brilliant Stars. Now we take a look at Brilliant Stars. Now, in my opinion, I actually think Brilliant Stars has a really good pull rate. That's one thing I've always said. Hit rate, 44%. Either Lost Origin, higher than Astral Radiance. Let's take a look at this, guys. Right, the old art Charizard is only, I say only, one in 490. There's nothing over 1,000 here. There's nothing over 2,000. So we have any card, Trainer Gallery, V, V, Max or Trainer, one in 18. Not V, V, Max or Trainer, one one and eight then we have a full art trainer one and 54 so more than two booster boxes a rainbow rare one and 51 so two booster boxes and one in 92 for a gold basically more than two booster boxes this is better than national radiance and lost origin and it's probably one of the reasons why people love opening up brilliant stars because it is tough to pull the cards but it feels easier to pull the cards and the hit rate is very very good 44 percent is very very good uh for a modern day pokemon set and not only that these cards are holding good value as well which is very strong and booster boxes are going up in value because of it people prefer to open brilliant stars because the hit rates are that good in my opinion brilliant stars is going to be stronger than astral radiance and lost origin moving forward it's going to be the best one out of the three followed by lost origin and then astral radiance 
We have to wait and see what Silver Tempest is going to be like, but hopefully it's going to be more like Brilliant Stars and not like the other two. Then we have Fusion Strike. Now, Fusion Strike is a set where it's massive. Huge, huge set. Doesn't have a trainer gallery. Let's keep that in mind, guys. Doesn't have a trainer gallery. Hit rate, one in five. That's not good. That's what, seven hits per box? So that's not very strong at all. You know, like I said, with the trainer gallery ones, we're seeing on average, you know, 15 hits per box. This doesn't have trainer gallery and this feels quite rough when you open it. So let's just take a look. Follow VMAX, 1 in 30. Quill Art V, 1 in 58. So that's more than a box. Quill Art Trainer, 1 in 64. It's two boxes. Rainbow, 1 in 127. All booster boxes. Gold Card, 1 in 120. Alt Art, 1 in 108. 80 and an alt art v max one and 332 look at that mu over 2000 espion 1400 and gengar 1000 you got the intellion 1000 this is crazy this is a tough set and i think the pull rates this set is known for being bad and known for being tough and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people just do you want to open up Fusion Strike? It's really, really tough to get some of these top end cards. And we started to see the top three, the Gengar, the Espeon, and the Mew, go to really high prices because they're so hard to pull. The Rainbow Mew V Max is again quite hard to pull, and as well as the Inteleon, they haven't risen to the crazy heights as the top three. So it's quite interesting. But Fusion Strike is a set where the trainer gallery isn't there, and that has a massive impact. When you don't have a subset, it makes it very, very tough to get something good from a set. And then we have Evolving Skies. Now, this is the set where everybody knows we have the big heavy hitting cards and to be honest it's a very very tough set it's very very tough we see a v max one in 18 so you get me on average two per box a full art and one in 56 two boxes a full art trainer is one in 197 one in 82 for a rainbow rare one in 99 for a gold card one in 82 for an art v and one in 283 for an art v max we don't know exactly what the pull rates are for the individual cards this was done a while ago and there have been multiple reports from people saying that the most recent print runs of evolving skies have actually been harder to pull the top cards could you believe it actually genuinely harder to pull that's tough that makes it very very difficult to get these really big heavy hitting cards like the umbreon it's probably one of the reasons why a lot of people have been saying that for you to get an alt art v max you're going to be opening up a minimum of four boxes some people have been saying it's like one per case which is six boxes that's a lot of packs that's over 200 packs just to get an art VMAX. And especially booster boxes are now over $200 a box. That's incredibly tough. And that's one of the reasons why we're seeing the alt arts being so, so expensive. Golden Skies has a really bad pull rates. It does. I know people love the set and I love it too. But we need to accept the fact it has tough pull rates. If a set doesn't have a subset, it struggles. It really does struggle. And it becomes less fun to open and less exciting. So that is Evolving Skies for us. But there you have it, guys. Those are some ideas of different sets and their pull rates. It has been affecting the market and it does affect how well a set does in the long haul. We've seen the most recent sets. Brilliant Stars, Astral, and Lost Origin. You know, they have tough pull rates for the top cards, but the Trainer Gallery makes pull rates as a whole good, and it makes the set fun and exciting to open. You don't feel bad when you crack a booster box, seven or eight V cards or better. Trainer Gallery makes it fun. And the pull rates of Brilliant Stars is actually pretty good compared to Astral and Lost Origin. We really have to see how well Silver Tempest does in the pull rates category. Whenever I do a review or a preview of a set for market purposes, for collection purposes, I always say wait for the set to come out so we can get a good idea of the pull rates. It really makes a massive impact on the cards. When I talked about Lost origin before its release i said that some of the old art cards are going to go up in value because i had a feeling the pull rates were going to be really bad i thought they were going to be better than astral but actually worse than brilliant and in actual fact they're worse than astral radiance so i genuinely do think that lost origin the single cards of the giratina and the aerodactyl will hold incredible value because they're so so hard to find and open for our collections if this video helpful guys make sure to smash that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts regarding these pull rates do you feel like sets should have a subset moving forward whether or not that would be in a gallery whether or not that would be amazing rares or shiny pokemon just something to give us in that reverse hollow slot i think they should because it's crazy i think you know like i say subsets should be in every single set it makes it more fun these last three sets are actually really fun to open compared to chill and rain and battle stars and fusion strike i mean of all the skies it's fun to open because the chance of getting one of the big cards is very rewarding but it feels bad when you don't really get anything at all for the price you're paying for a booster box anyway guys that is it from me in this video thank you all so much for watching as always you guys are the legends and i'll see you all in the next one